Hello, welcome to week three of the AIDS Norwich Challenges. We hope you had a wonderful Easter weekend. The weather was glorious, wasn't it? And we loved seeing pictures of your garden dens. Absolutely amazing. And some of you even slept outside. Wonderful. I personally also loved seeing some of your knot work. And I was so impressed that even caps like Hannah here did a super amazing adjustable guy line knot. So well done. Now, if you still have pictures of your dens, but the, you haven't sent them to us, keep them coming. We would love to see it. Now, this week's challenge is actually inspired by some of you too. We received some amazing pictures from Billy here, who built a cat castle out of recycled cardboard boxes. Or Bee, who created this amazing bottle board out of an old ironing board and plastic bottles. So we thought this week, Let's upcycle! So upcycling means uh, you take something in your house that you don't need anymore, that you would otherwise bin or recycle, and you create something new. For example, Ian has was this portable laundry hanger made out of old pipe and wire. Or you might even have an old jam jar in the house, and what can we do with that? Or maybe kind of like a tea light that's hanging off a tree or the window, and all you need is a piece of string and a really cool simple knot called the barrel knot, which I'm going to quickly teach you now. Right, so you take a piece of string and find the middle, and you place it on the table, put your jam jar on the middle of your piece of string, take both ends up, and tie a simple overhand knot. You then find the middle of your overhand knot, and just move it out and around the edges of your jar and you pull it tight. Now you could even just hang it up like this already. I personally like to secure it a little bit more. So I'm gonna take each piece of string around the jar in opposite ways. And I tuck each end under and the other side. All you do is tighten it a bit, take your pieces of string up and just put a simple knot in. If you wanted to, you could even put a ball in and then just use it as a pulley. But this will do. You can put whatever you like in this gem jar. It might look really pretty with tea light or sweets. Anyway, very simple barrel knot. Right, over to you. I can't wait to see what you're going to create. Now, if you're saying, well, not the crafty type, how about making something from leftover food? Ian, for example, took some old milk and turned it into yogurt. There will be a few snippets on how to do this at the end of this video, and you can see the whole how to make yogurt out of old milk video on our YouTube channel. Right, everybody, have a great week, and please don't forget to send us pictures of your upcycling projects to either our email address or tag us on any of the social media platforms. I'll see you next week. Bye. Hi everyone. So today we're going to make some, uh, we're going to upcycle some milk into yogurt. Okay. It's going to heat up the milk uh, to 88 degrees. That's a minimum. So let's just have a little look at what's going on there. So we're going to let that cool down now and it's got to go down to 44 degrees. So the two temperatures you need to remember, 88 minimum, back down to 44 degrees. Hi, um, back again now. So we've uh, left our hot milk for a while. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a mug. This is our dog digger. Um, and we're gonna scoop some of the warm water into the mug, okay? And then We'll just take some ordinary yogurt. So the leftover yogurt from your previous batch, or in this case, it's some that we bought earlier. And I'm just gonna mix that up. And it, needs to be natural. it does need to be whole Greek yogurt, uh, natural yogurt, okay? So nothing that's been sort of interfered with. Um, so there we are, a couple of really big dollops. And this is gonna provide the bacterial action that we need to get the process going to convert our 
hot milk into yogurt. So we're going to give that a good stir. There we go. That's really sort of thoroughly mixed in. And I'm going to add that mix into the main, a bit of a swill about, the main supply. Give that a good stir around. And then we're going to put the lid on. And now it's a bit of a waiting game. There we go. And we're going to we're going to allow that to stand for a few hours, but we've got to keep it warm to stay there for a few hours. Nice and set. I'm just going to go for a bit of a trial run here. Great. Organic yogurt. Easy as that. Thank you. Bye.